Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars with a message for Aaron Rye on YouTube. Uh, you and I have some things in common, I suspect. Other things, probably not. You seem to be a liberal. I'm a uh, backwoods style conservative. But I don't, don't want to talk about politics, I want to talk about your uh, videos about the Bible. Now, Mr. Aaron, Aaron Ra, that's not actually his real name. Ra is uh, the Egyptian sun god. You can look it up on your own time. Um, we have a problem. See, the problem with your, what you're trying to do, you seem to be attacking people's faith, excuse me, faith using logic and reason. I don't think it's going to work. I mean, you and I can tell Christian, okay, you know, just having one elephant by itself on the ark would be probably more work than eight people could handle. I mean, what goes in one end comes out the other, and it's very nasty when it comes out. But I don't want to listen. It's just the problem, Aaron. Uh, what Christians will inevitably do is they will say, God took care of it. That's the end of the discussion. So you can't compete with faith. I agree with you, by the way, that the Ark story as it stands couldn't have happened. Obviously not. And some of these other stories as well. But, you know, attacking people's faith isn't going to work. Like I said, I'll just say, God made it happen. Well, it's just, there's just no way to win. Now, uh, my approach is a little bit different. What I do is I try to encourage them to read some things in the Bible which are actually forbidden for Christians to read because uh, the ruling elite doesn't want them to know this, these things. One of the most egregious things is in Genesis. Excuse me one sec. Uh, in Genesis, it says that a mist rose in the morning to water the Garden of Eden. And it says that a river was the source, I think Euphrates, I'd have to look at any rate. But what that is, we ain't got a problem, that's a clear description of an irrigation system, an advanced irrigation system, of the time, you know, one that has a timer and all this. We can have those today, but they didn't exist, not even King James era or anything, so you got a serious problem there. Uh, Somebody apparently knew about some very advanced technology, and also what it also demonstrates is that the Christian meme about uh, and it never rained until Noah uh, came along and the ark and the flood. It also proves that that one is false because there was a river. Uh, it says it split into three heads and so forth, but we all know, everybody listening to this video knows what a river does. I'm not going to rehash it. This is a water cycle, okay? So we're not going to bother rehashing that. The point here is, what the Bible says, God had not made it rain on the earth. It didn't say there was no rain on the earth until the flood. It doesn't say that. So there's a lot of, th my point here is there's a lot of things that have been misinterpreted. Much to the detriment of the Christian religion. I gotta tell you, I'm an agnostic. So, I'm not a Bible thumper. I don't sit here and thump, 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 thump. I'm an agnostic, okay? Are we clear on that? I hope so. Um, 
I try to point out to Christians that, you know, the Bible is saying certain things, but if you look at them from a reasoned standpoint, it's actually saying something different than what we're taught. Yes, it rained on the earth. <laughs> uh, the fact that God had, God had not made it rain on the earth is indicative of some sort of weather control rather than a miracle. It also says that uh, Adam heard God moving through the garden. Really, God makes noise as he moves through the garden? You see, it's things like that just drive me right up the wall and down the other side. Well, you know, that's what I would encourage you to do, is read the Bible and try to explain to these Christians what it's actually saying. I don't have a lot of time anymore for videos, I'll be honest with you. The requirements of work have just gotten to be outrageous. Uh, and I just don't have much time at all for the internet anymore, unfortunately. I have to have it for a tool. I have to look things up. I have to contact people, but uh, as far as doing a lot of videos, I just don't have time for it anymore. It's that simple. I would encourage you to actually read the Bible. There's some things that I'm not even going to touch because <laughs> I know I'm not going to win. I would have no idea. One of those is uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego going into the big furnace in there. Uh, I'm not terribly familiar with the story, but they survived, and if they take that literally, then I have to sit here and think, yeah, maybe God did protect them. See, I'm not an atheist, I'm an agnostic. And I'll tell you another thing while we're on the agnostic subject. I have my own uh, little series I did called Intelligent and in De Design and Nature. No, I don't believe in unguided evolution. I think it's a bunch of BS. And I point out my reasons. One thing that I love to uh, talk about is the pollen baskets that are on, I think it's on the hind legs of the European bunny, honeybee. Well, it didn't happen by accident. There's all sorts of things. Okay, uh, so... Don't think that I support your views on evolution, because I don't. Plain and simple. Well, I think evolution, unguided evolution is wrong. I think there's, I think species are being created all the time. I said created. I just can't prove it. But there's another thing in the Bible you may not even realize. And I'm not going to go too long on this video, so here you go. Uh, I'm not sure which book of the Bible this is in, uh, maybe Daniel. It says that God and his angels, uh, Satan and his angels were cast down to the earth. Really, down to the earth? As in they were higher than the earth or something? See, that's a clear indication of being exiled to the earth, as in imprisoned. Uh, uh, how does an ethereal being get imprisoned on a planet? See, it just doesn't add up. This is the kind of thing that I try to hammer them on, but of course they don't listen, because they want to believe the dogma. I don't like dogma. I don't like it at all. I mean, dogma holds that uh, the people of Babel were trying to build a tower to reach to heaven. That's what the Bible says. Uh, in reality, it's believed that this was a Babylonian step tower. But the problem is that there were uh, mountains available for them to climb. 
no Babylonian step tower could have ever gotten even a fraction of the height of mountains. So they had to have had a different purpose than physically climbing up. And of course, they wouldn't have never reached heaven. Even if they could have built it, they would have run out of air at some point. You know, I share your views to an extent. But, I do feel there has to be some kind of a god. I don't see how you're going to get away from that. Uh, maybe you think there is any god. I have a problem with that. I can see for myself how things have been designed. But I have a problem. That's saying... I, I have a hard time turning to faith. And the reason is... I read what's in Genesis and so forth. I read what's in the Bible... And it runs contrary to the dogma. So, if I said, yeah, I'm Christian, joined up, then I have to accept the dogma, which I don't. And I wouldn't be true to myself if I did. On the other hand, if I said, well, this is what the Bible says, you're wrong, then I'm a heretic. You see, there's no way to win. So, I remain, officially at least, an agnostic. And that's the way it is. I do think you're going about things the wrong way. I mean, that's your business. I'm all for freedom of speech. Don't get me wrong. But maybe you could try actually reading the Bible and seeing what it's saying. You're a very bright person, I can tell that. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to refute you. I know better than that. You'll clean my clock. You'll, you will clean my clock if I try to refute you on things. I'm well aware of that. And you're, I've seen your videos, and you're very intelligent. And I understand that. But I think you're being at the moon like a... over... Uh, over... happy... coyote or something. You're just kind of being at the moon, in my opinion. As... You're not going to destroy anybody's faith. That's the point. Um, they're just going to say, God took care of it, and that's the end of the discussion right there. I would try to show, you know, lead Christians by the uh, nose, so to speak, and show them some of the things that have happened in the Bible, where the Bible says one thing, and Christians say another. I'm going to close with this. Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, was not the only Son of God. The Sons of God are mentioned repeatedly in the Bible. It says he was the only begotten Son of God. That term begotten is archaic. And basically what it means is born of a human female. Which means all the sons of God by default were born of females that were not of human origin. If I go by the Bible. If I go by the scriptures. Well at any rate, that's my two cents. You know, maybe you try reading that Bible instead of just slamming it and see what it says, because there are some fascinating things. Uh, Adam and Eve made aprons of fig leaves, really? Where did they uh, get the sewing equipment? And where did they get the skills to learn how to sew? And how do you sew fig leaves together anyway? They're just going to rip apart the instant you try to move around. And where they get thread, so on and so forth. So, there are a great many things. The Garden of Eden story sounds a lot like genetic engineering and by a highly advanced, intelligent race.
That's what it sounds like to me. And I think we need to hammer that home. Because if you look in the Garden of Eden story, it's one thing that's left out of the actual creation. And that's reptiles. It mentions birds, and it mentions uh, mammals, copiously. Not one peep about reptiles until you get to the serpent. That's my two cents. I thank you for your attention. Uh, I think if you'd like to look at uh, one of my series, other series, look up Aliens of the Bible. You might find it informative. It's science fiction to an extent, but it's also based on the Christian Bible and what it says. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. I approve of this message.